All right, here we go. This should be the last Man of Traders game for the night. Yes. I'm gonna Loris is in companion zone. I'm gonna keep this hand. The reason why is I have oath. And I have blast zone. Does he have to decide if he keeps his hand before I see Nurse? No, he does not. Because I haven't even decided to keep it, but Luris is already in the companion zone. Ah, it keeps in companion, it's champion, right? No, it's companion. I'll probably mess that up again. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was looking for a piece of mail earlier. Go check this while my opponent apparently gets ready. Look at that. The moment I get up and step away for a second, he's ready to go. Okay. Definitely starting with the tower here because I mean the map. I could have done the star first, but if my opponent's playing in black, red, then or anything black in general, expecting them to look into my hand and take something out is a must. I'd rather have expedition map than chromatic star and then wishing for a with that towards. Okay, does he stop again? Yes, yes, Oh my gosh, here we go again, this time recording from the very beginning, not what I wanted to see there, but I'll take it. Blast zone, sacrifice this for green, blast zone. Let's go ahead and play the Oath. We need to assemble Tron quickly here, very, very quickly. Back as quick as possibly. And the point to your turn. Next turn, if I miss a piece of Tron, I have to go fetch regardless. The reason why is. Oh, I'm gonna be dead. Mm, not sure why this opponent's lagging so much though. <laughs> You're a steel paladin. Metal craft. Mm 
three more artifacts, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll see what happens. I could blow it up, but I could not. It depends on what he does this turn. <laughs> this is... Artifact creature, so that will satisfy two artifacts. He needs one more. Hmm. That's it. She's swinging at me with 12 damage this turn. Turn this into artifact creature. Oh my gosh. Never mind, I'm just dead. This deck is ridiculous fast. Chalice for one is a way to stop this guy. Chalice. It's actually not a bad call. Because I can never get Chalice out late game fast enough to make a difference. But early game, it can definitely be a win condition. Besides that, it's just Ensnaring Bridge, Silent Arbiter, Sorceress, Spyglass. There's also another win. Because I could name his Colossus Hammer, Relic, Popter Ward, Goldo, Spina Bridge. New explosives is also good because I can destroy his creatures. Same for Walking Ballista, but guess what? Those are just better on the sideboard because then just talking about late game wins at that point. So, what else do I take out? And that's good because it can create a blocker. Fines are obviously good. Logan's Spirit Dragon is not so good. He's turn four. And if he's the one that's coming out to save me, I'm dead. Okay, I don't know if it actually saved my changes there. I began the game with 50, 60 cards total. So I highly doubt it saved my changes, but it'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Dang, these are some bad hands. How many am I going down to? I cannot assemble quick enough with this. With this, I will take my chances. Actually, I can assemble for sure. Is he only getting down as well? Okay. Hey, that's good for me, right? Ooh, am I getting down a little more than I expected? I'm gonna keep the scrying because... I have more chances of getting a Chromatic Sphere or Star than I do of getting a Sylvan Scrying again. SSS playing against the odds. I bought a copy of Skyrim Elder Scrolls 5. 
back when I first joined the military, and I have yet to actually play it. I bought it a long time ago. Usually when I bought it, I had a laptop, just a regular old laptop. No. Granted, it was not bad, but it was not the best. And I was thinking in my head, oh man, everybody's playing this game on Xbox and PlayStation. Let me just buy it for my computer so I can play it. And then I played it on my computer once and it looked terrible because my computer graphics card and everything was not nearly up to date. And lo and behold, I have not played the game since. I'm not surprised though. I'm not much of a gamer, except for when it comes to Magic the Gap. Can I actually use this to play? I think Colossus Hammer on turn two. Oh, Spring Leap Drum, not Colossus Hammer. Looking at the screen that I'm using to use OBS on and trying to play like weird. Colossus Hammer, your Steel Paladin. Wait. Oh, he can draw a card. I thought he was about to equip it. I was about to say, what the heck? Well, should have kept Chromatic Sphere or Star. Ornithopter. That is three. It'd be funny now if he just plays like three hammers and wins the game. OP. Nature's claim is just ridiculous this guy. Down to eight life already. The good thing is he doesn't have trample, so Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. I'm just looking at what cards I get. Hammer time. Hmm. Twenty minutes, eighteen minutes, and that's it for the man traders leave today. Okay, let's see. 